hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here you are welcome please don't forget to subscribe and please turn on the bell as well thank you so much so someone has accused me that i love joda and agba people more than this is fit people <clears throat> that's not true but i'm sorry so the last update about this is faith was how prita shriti and samuel these guys as eunuchs and they went to mega's baby shower in Akshay's house in order for them to get Akshay's phone and fortunately for them they were able to get a phone that was the last update let's continue from there Pritri walks out on the terrace and he thinks that Mega is really mad or maybe she is minimizing because she was cancelling his call and he wonders if Mega is thinking that after giving him a call, then she feels that he might get scared. But it is not the case because he is the one who scares people. Mega finally answers the call and she asks Pritri if Pritri thinks that by stealing Akshay's phone, then Pritri feels that he will be free from her. But that is not the case because she will still torment Pritri's life. Pritvi asks that what has happened and is Mega really mad. Mega says that it is her fault because she told Pritvi in their last meeting that her evidence is in Akshay's phone. So that was why Pritvi stole the phone and Pritvi gets really worried. Pritvi asks Mega to clear because he doesn't understand and Mega says that a lot of people are after the phone because Prita, Shriti and Samir also came to find the phone. Pritvi asks Mega to be sure if she saw Samir, Shriti and Prita. And Mega says that there was also someone else who tried to steal the phone. But if Pritfi doesn't give her 2 million, then she would make sure that Prita knows that Pritfi is also involved in Akshay's murder because Prita was really searching for the murderer. Pritfi tries to calm Mega down, but Mega ends the call, saying that Pritfi must give her the money, otherwise, she would not let Pritfi live in the Lutra house peacefully. Pritfi ending the call wonders what the case might be because Mega explained that there was someone else apart from Prita who was trying to steal the phone. So what if the third person is the real murderer? The door of the Lutra house opens and a woman that her face was not shown entered in a red dress and the woman seems to be the same person that was dragging Akshay's phone with Prita. The woman walks upstairs into the washroom where she was washing off her makeup but her face was still not shown. Prita along with Shruti and Samir were trying to unlock the phone, however, they were not able to. Prita get a call from Raki and Prita apologized for being late and asks if Raki is not angry with her. Raki explains that she is not angry, but Prita must come back because Pami fell from the stairs and injured her knee and Prita must come back quickly to take care of Pami's legs since Prita is a physiotherapist. Prita asks Samir to hurry up because they must leave and Shruti also requests to come with them because she also needs to see what is in the phone because she cannot sleep without seeing the proof and Prita agrees after which they all leave for the Lutra house. In the Lutra house, Pritri was really frustrated and eating the wall on the hallway and he wonders that it will be of no good because Prita is doing all she can to find the proof and if Prita finds out that he was the one that went to give Akshay the money so that he can blackmail Kritika, then it will cause a lot of trouble for him and he will not be able to live in the Lutra house but he will be thrown into the jail. Later, Pritri thinks that he cannot give up and he must use his brains to find out what Prita knows about the murder. Pami was crying in her room because she was feeling a lot of pain and Raki asked Pami not to worry because she has caught Prita who would come and perform the treatment and Pami would then be fine. Sherlyn comes there asking what has happened and Raki explains that Pami has gotten injured after falling and Raki asks Sherlyn to stay with Pami and not leave her alone and Raki leaves the room. Sherlyn seeing Pami says that she knows that Pami has hurt herself but it is bearable so she will leave. And Pami asks that where has Shailene been the entire day and where did Shailene go with Pritfi? Shailene turning back asks Pami not to be curious because she is really clever so she would never accept Pami's orders and Pami must not try to give her any orders because she is not a puppet. Shailene says that Pami has made a mistake by scolding Prita and blaming her for the arrest of Karan because everyone in the family really lost Prita so Pami doesn't even have any respect in the house anymore. Sherlyn threatens to inform the family about Pami's feelings for Prita and the family, that Pami doesn't like Prita and Pami might then be in a lot of trouble and Sherlyn leaves the room. Pami wonders that what kind of a woman is Sherlyn that Sherlyn have the guts to threaten her. Suresh walks into the room asking if Pami hurt herself and Pami explains that she has really hurt herself. 
Suresh gets a call and leaves because there was no signal. And Pami thinks that Sherlyn told her the truth because she is really jealous of Raki because of Raki's wealth and good children. And she doesn't like both of Raki's daughter-in-laws because they are not worthy of the care and attention that they are getting. Prita walks into the house with Shruti and Samiru and Raki asks that how was Prita able to come so early because she told her to come back home and it was not even up to 15 minutes yet. Samiru explains that it was because of him because he drove the car really fast. But Shruti, however, says that Samiru was just driving the car in the fourth gear but they came early because the road was empty and Prita asks both of them to stop arguing. Prita asks Raki about Pami and Raki explains that she has even prepared the hot water bag and Prita leaves, explaining that the hot water bag will not be of any use. And she asks if there is any first aid box, and Prita leaves with Raki. Samiru so asks Shruti why she always tries to degrade him in front of the family. And Shruti replies that she praised Samiru by saying that he was driving in the fourth gear. And she corrects her statement, saying that it was in the third gear, because she has a sharp eye. Samiru places his hand on his waist, and Shruti immediately turns Samiru, asking why he is standing like a woman, and Samiru feels irritated. Shruti pushes Samiru, causing him to fall on the couch, and Shruti turns Samiru again, and Samiru quickly stands up. Shruti loudly speaks about the proof they got, and Samiru quickly places his hand over Shruti's mouth, and Shruti apologizes. Raki sees both Samiru and Shruti getting close, and Raki smiles and asks Samiru to go and be with Pami, and Raki leaves while Shruti and Samiru feel embarrassed. Prita got to the room and she immediately sits beside Pami, massaging her feet and assuring her that everything will be fine. Pami asks Prita how she feels about Shailene, and Prita tries to answer in a polite manner, but Pami was not convinced, and Prita then questions Pami on how she feels about Shailene. Pami immediately explains that she does not like Shailene, and Prita replies that she can understand why Pami would say such a thing, but she is not at all concerned about anyone because she is only bothered about her husband in the jail, and Prita promised herself that she will do all that is in her power to make sure that Karan is released from the prison. Prita bandaged Pami's feet, advising her to rest for some time, after which there will be no pain again, and Prita leaves the room. Pami thinks that what has happened to her because she hated Prita just a few moments ago, but now after Prita talked nicely with her, then she has melted. But Pami quickly thinks of not backing out from her plan, because Prita has made the promise to Mahesh and Raki to bring Karan out of the jail, and she has now understood why everyone is always talking about Prita. Pami sees Suresh, so Pami decided to inform Suresh about the truth regarding Prita and Shailene. But Suresh, however, leaves because he was still not able to get network. Shruti asks Samiru to give her juice, and Samiru moves the glass closer to Shruti, and Shruti drinks it. Samiru asks that why is Shruti testing his hospitality, because he feels that Shruti is trying to take advantage of him. Shruti gives Samiru Akshay's phone, asking him to crack the pin to unlock the phone if he can. Prita comes there, asking if Samiru is the bodyguard of Shruti, because Shruti is making Samiru to do all her work. Shruti explains that her hands are busy, which is why Samiru is helping her, and Prita once again asks that what is the matter because they were able to crack the pattern of Akshay's phone once, but now they cannot. Shruti says that Akshay has already placed the password on the gallery and she has even checked his gallery but the names are saved in code words and she just wonders who will save names like that on the phone. Prita explains that only blackmailers save contact like that because they need to keep it all a secret and so they use code words. And Shruti was really amazed and she says that she has understood from where Prita got her brains. Prita explains that they cannot waste any more time and they need to call a professional to unlock the phone for them. Samir explains that there is a technician of Rishab but his number is in the study room and Samir takes the phone with him to give the details of the phone to the technician and Shruti also leaves there to go back home. Prithvi was working and wondering how we must get the phone from Prita because Prita has the most important proof relating to the case and he must do all he can to get the phone, otherwise it would create a lot of problem for him. Prithvi was about to knock on Prita's door, but then he realized that there's no need because Karan is not even in the house and Prithvi goes inside calling Prita, but Prita was not in the room and Prithvi started searching the room for the proof and he started searching the wardrobe, but Raki comes in and sees Prithvi searching Prita's wardrobe and Raki asks that what is Prithvi doing. Prithvi was shocked but Prithvi quickly explains that he was taking something for Karan in the wardrobe because he was going to meet Karan in the prison. But Raki asks Prithvi not to worry about Karan 
because Prita has taken all the necessary things to Karan, and Prifri quickly goes back to his room, and Raki wonders what is going on. Pami was sitting on the chair, and Suresh comes there and pours her glass of water, advising her to take her medicine. Pami explains to Suresh that Prita has taken care of everyone, and Suresh also says that Pami is right, because Prita has really taken care of everyone, and there's always a child who cares for everyone like Prita, and any family that gets a child like Prita is blessed, and this is why Prita has come into the Lutra family. Pami explains that Suresh is really innocent, because she was saying something else and Suresh started talking about another thing. Pami says that she meant to say that Prita has controlled everyone, but acting as if she is taking care of them. Suresh gets frustrated and asks Pami to stop because there is nothing of sort, because when the children are young, their parents take care of them and some children learn how to take care of others just like Prita, and Suresh leaves there requesting Pami to stop eating on Prita. Pami, however, says that Prita has also forced Suresh to accept that she is the best with her attitude, but she knows that both of the daughter-in-laws of the family are not what they claim to be. In the morning, Raki was preparing the breakfast table and Pami comes to the table. Raki seeing Pami asks that why did Pami come alone because she was hot so she would have called her. Pami says that there is nothing to worry about because she is fine and Pami asks if Raki needs any help. But Raki refused, saying that Pami should sit and have breakfast. Suresh along with Mahesh also comes there and Raki asks them to sit but Mahesh says that they are going outside and Raki gets worried. Suresh says that there is nothing to worry about because they are going to meet Karan and Raki also seeks permission to accompany them. But Mahesh refused, explaining that when the children get older, they have to be treated as friends so Raki cannot come because he is going to meet Karan like a friend and Raki agrees to stay back. Suresh says that they have a food box in which Mahesh has packed the dishes that Karan loves and Mahesh leaves his stick that Suresh tries to give to him and Mahesh says that he is fine now so he doesn't need the stick anymore. Raki turns once again to set the table and Mahira along with Shailin got there. Prithvi also got there with Kritika greeting everyone and Pami asks Raki that where is Prita. Raki says that Prita is just coming out and Prita comes out greeting everyone good morning and Raki asks Prita to sit for breakfast but Prita asks Raki for the directions to the library and Raki tells Prita. Prita turns to leave but she bumps into Samiru causing Akshay's phone to fall on the ground. Pami was about to pick the phone up but Samiru shouted saying that it is Akshay's phone and Prithvi stands up because he was really worried and everyone were shocked that Prita has Akshay's phone but Pami pretends as if she doesn't care and she leaves from there. Kritika picked the phone up and accidentally dies a number from it and Prita pulls Kritika away explaining that she needs to talk to Kritika. Karan was in the cell and he smelled something and then he catched the ball that was thrown at him by Mahesh who even tries to distract him. Karan throws the ball back at Mahesh but Mahesh was not able to catch the ball and Karan says that Mahesh is cheating because he saw that Mahesh picked the ball from the floor and Karan calls the constable asking him to arrest Mahesh because he is cheating and he is even lying. Mahesh says that he did not cheat and Karan threatens to complain to Raki about Mahesh cheating because Mahesh is even cheating when they were just playing. Mahesh accepts that he cheated because he bribed Sharma by giving him the ticket of Karan's last match and Karan once again threatens to complain to Raki. Mahesh asks that how will Karan do that because he has sent Suresh back so that he will spend some time alone with his son. Mahesh gave Karan the ladu that they both love and they would always steal from Raki's kitchen and Karan asks Mahesh if he is going to make him fat in the jail. Mahesh asks that who is going to let Karan stay in the jail forever because he is his father and he has hired an entire team of lawyers to fight Karan's case and he will make sure that Karan is set free in just two days. Karan has tears in his eyes and Mahesh also has tears in his eyes and Mahesh says that he really loves Karan and they both put their heads together while crying. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching till the end and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to share it and don't forget to comment and subscribe as well and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.